All right, uh, welcome back. We're going to be looking at the parasternal short axis again, but we're going to be looking at uh, three examples of severely reduced left ventricular ejection fraction. So in our binary questions, we're going to ask ourselves this uh, first question about the left ventricular function. Is the LV function normal? Our answer is going to be no. So then we want to ask us, ourselves the follow-up question, is the left ventricular function severely depressed? And in these cases, we're going to say yes. If we said no, then it would be some mild or moderate uh, function depression, but here to start with we just want to be able to identify normal and severely depressed. So example number one, um, we can get our anatomy again, we can see our left ventricle is right here, this nice donut shape, and there might be some wall motion abnormalities here, but mostly we want to focus on that this chamber size is not decreasing. If we put a little dot right there in the middle, uh, right here, then we are not collapsing well down towards that and this is a severely depressed ejection fraction. If we go to example number two, same thing. We can't quite see the outer wall here, but we can get an idea that this is the inner wall of the left ventricle. And right here, if we put a dot, again, we don't see that chamber collapse uh, well. Um, now, keep in mind, I do want to reflect back. This is a very thin slice image of a 3D structure. So, they could have a poor function here and have great apical function, um, but as we do bedside ultrasound, we're going to ascertain all our views um, and use this to help us, although this, um, this is one of our better views to um, get global, not global function, but ascertain uh, or estimate the EF, and then we would support that by looking at the rest of the views and, and determining if that's how the function looks all over. So, and I wanted to remind you that the uh, probe marker is going to be towards the left shoulder or mid clavicular line to shoulder but we want to get that nice donut shape. And last but not least um, we've got this final here. We don't see the papillaries as well in this image but we can put a dot here again. We can really see that these inner walls here are not collapsing well uh, towards the center. Um, they're um, severely depressed in their function, not a lot of contractility. Um, and so this is a, another great example of a severely depressed EF in the parasternal short axis. Um, hopefully that helps as far as, uh, as this view. If you have any uh, questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.